I've reviewed TVs over the years and I'm not a TV expert by any means and majority of the stuff I mention in TV reviews, many people have no idea what I'm saying, nor do they care. And that's how it should be. People just want a big screen and a nice picture that fits in their price point. So instead of doing a full review of this TV and talking about all the little details, I'll tell you what I love about this TV and who this TV is good for. Kevin the Tech Ninja here, and let's dig in. TCL has been making a name for itself in the TV department for the past few years. They've been hanging their hats on and giving you the best bang for your buck when it comes to your TV. It may not be the prettiest TV around, it may not have every bell and whistle, but what it does have is enough features to make it a solid TV at a great price point. For a 55 inch TTL 6 series QLED, you'll land yourself not only a TV that works great for games, but has a built-in Roku, so you have access to thousands of apps, movies, and TV shows for $650. The version that I have in this video is a 65 inch, which is around $1,200. You do have four HDMI ports and plenty of other ports to hook up whatever you want. Now they're not 2.1 HDMI, so for next generation gaming like PS5 and Xbox Series X, you won't get 4K at 120Hz with VRR. I'll talk about that shortly, it's not a big deal. The design of the TV isn't going to turn any heads. The TV is made from plastics and metal. The stand is wide and it gives your TV an excellent profile. The stands also double as cable management so you can run cords through the legs without any issues. Around the edges of the TV, it has a brush aluminum design that looks premium. The TV's back does jut out a little bit, so if you're looking to wall mount it, the TV would not be flush to the wall. Overall, the TV feels solid, but does lack the premium materials of a more expensive design and a more expensive feeling. The 6 Series, just like all TCLs, is using Roku as its operating system. Roku is popular for good reason. It's straightforward to use, so many options for apps and a great universal search. You can type or use your voice for a movie, TV show, actor, and the TV will tell you where you can find it. Now, just because it's on your TV doesn't mean it's free, and there are paid services baked into Roku as well, so be mindful of that when you start looking for videos and movies. Now, most of the apps you're looking for are there, like YouTube TV, Spotify, Prime, YouTube Sling, and a few other things. But one thing that I'm missing out is HBO Max. HBO Max, as of late, has been getting some really good stuff, and I want to check it out on this TV, but it's not available yet. I do have a feeling that it will be available in the store soon, but as of today, it's not. So let's go over the picture quality. I will say it's outstanding. You know, obviously it's subjective, but considering the price, you have a solid picture that will suit most needs. It does check a lot of the boxes for features that you wanna see in a TV. So you have 4K HDR, both with HDR10 and Dolby Vision. It's also using a new backlighting system that is powered by mini LED. Mini LED is a new technology that gives brighter images and you combine that with local dimming, which gives you darker blacks. In theory, it should work like that, but in actuality, it does struggle at times and it falls a little bit short of perfection. However, what it doesn't do great, 99% of casual TV watchers won't even notice this at all. Now on the surface, the black levels are outstanding. You know, dark scenes in uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse are quite enjoyable to watch. However, when you do take a closer look, at times there could be a halo effect around the edges of the TV and also near some of the characters. However, the colors are still very good and the picture overall still looks great. Off access viewing isn't that good at all. So if you're watching it not head on, you won't get the full depth of colors. The colors fall off pretty quick on this TV. So make sure you get the largest size your setup allows. This TV does come in a 75 inch, so that is an option, so you're not watching it from an angle. Adjusting settings on this TV is very simple. It could be frustrating for people who want to fine tune settings as this TV is using the settings within Roku. So things like adjusting brightness isn't on a numerical scale, it's on dark, darkest, bright, normal, brightest, yeah. For me, I don't like it, but a lot of people will love that. I still wish there was just an advanced mode to dig into more settings. 
Now for the gamers out there, this TV does give you THX certified gaming mode, which is a faster response time for gaming and the video game system switches to that automatically. Now this next part, I'm going to talk about gaming. If you're not a gamer, you don't have to listen to this, but when I mention Hertz, that is screen refresh time. That's how fast and how responsive the game is. Now when playing Xbox Series X, I had pretty much no lag time with button inputs when playing NBA 2K and also Tetris. The 6 Series works well with pretty much any gaming console you use, even if you plug a PC into it. But something that is worth mentioning is that it won't do 4K at 120Hz. That means in a couple years when games start tapping into the true power of the next generation, this TV will not scale up at 4K 120 but you can do 1440p. Now to achieve 4K 120Hz, TVs that can do that today are nearly double than what you're paying for this TV. The remote is a TCL remote, it's plastic, it's very basic, and you can also download the TC Remote app on your phone to control the TV if you wish, which I ended up doing. The TV speakers are pretty decent, but you should upgrade to a soundbar TCL makes some pretty decent sound bars too, and I'll link those down below. I highly recommend you pick those up when you get this TV. Overall, to get a much better TV, you need to spend nearly double or even triple if you're going to go OLED. When people ask me what TV they should buy, for the past three years, it's been the TCL 6 series, and it still is. This TV just gives you a simple design, great features, great picture, and just a easy to use interface that is extremely no frills. If you're interested in a TV you don't want to break the bank, pick this one up from my link down below. As always guys, Kevin the Tech Ninja, have a great day. Hot you guys later. Take care. Peace.